equilibrium conditions for a system of fixed volume when it is in contact with a heat reservoir. Consider a system A whose only external parameter is its volume B, which remains fixed. The system is in contact with the heat reservoir A prime, constant temperature T prime. Use arguments similar to those of section 7.5 to show that the equilibrium of A is characterized by the fact that E bar minus T prime S, which is the Helmholtz free energy, must be a minimum. Show that the Gibbs free energy of a system in contact with a reservoir at constant temperature T prime and constant pressure P prime can be expressed in terms of the Helmholtz free energy by the relation F plus P prime V. Okay, so let's start with writing the total entropy of the uh, star system delta s star which is delta s plus delta s prime entropy change in a and entropy change in a prime and entropy change in the prime system is the heat absorbed by the prime system divided by its constant temperature t prime uh, now the heat absorbed by the prime system is the change in its mean internal energy minus the work done on the prime system uh, and uh, here I have work done on the prime system equals to zero since we have a constant volume delta V is equal to zero so therefore we find that uh, so Q prime must be equal to delta E prime bar which is also minus delta E bar because E star, which is E plus E prime, is a constant. The total system is isolated and delta E star is delta E plus delta E prime. Uh, this must be equal to zero. So I can write delta S star the total entropy change as uh, delta S plus delta S prime which is minus delta E bar divided by the temperature T prime so it was Q prime over T prime but Q prime is equal to delta E prime which is minus delta E so it's minus delta E divided by T prime so this would be T prime delta S minus delta E bar divided by T prime so I can write this as minus delta E bar minus T prime delta S divided by T prime and if I define the Helmholtz free energy F as E bar minus T prime S this is the Helmholtz free energy. Then I see that the change in the Helmholtz free energy delta F would be equal to delta E bar minus T prime delta S because T prime is constant. So I would get for the uh, entropy change uh, delta S star must be equal to minus delta F divided by T prime. Therefore, we conclude that delta S star uh, greater or equal to zero implies, this is the second law of thermodynamics, minus delta F divided by T prime is greater or equal to zero, which means delta F divided by T prime must be less or equal to zero. So F is minimum minimized at equilibrium. So indeed we reach this conclusion. Uh, the Helmholtz free energy must be minimized at equilibrium. Part B uh, now, Gibbs free energy can be written in terms of the Helmholtz free energy. 
Helmholtz free energy was defined as E bar minus T prime S and is a minimum uh, at equilibrium for a system that has a constant volume and constant temperature. The Gibbs free energy, on the other hand, is defined as E bar minus T prime S plus P prime uh, B, P prime bar V, and uh, this is a minimum at equilibrium when the pressure of the system is a constant, P bar is constant, and temperature is constant, so in contact with a reservoir. And uh, you can see that there is a relationship between the two. The Gibbs free energy can be written as F plus P prime bar V. So uh, indeed we see that this relationship exists between them. Having talked about these uh, two, uh, I should also remind you of enthalpy. So enthalpy uh, was uh, E bar plus uh, P prime V. So if you have a system uh, uh, so where, where the volume is constant, you remember that we have, uh, if V is constant, if volume is constant, we have delta E bar is equal to Q. On the other hand, if pressure is constant, uh, we have delta E bar is equal to Q uh, minus uh, P bar V. And you have for Q, uh, delta E bar plus uh, P bar V. And if the pressure is constant, uh, you can see that Q is equal to the change in H, which is the enthalpy. So uh, H is equal to E plus P prime uh, V. Uh, this is uh, enthalpy. And it is equal to uh, Delta H is equal to Q when the pressure is constant for a system. Okay, so uh, we talked about a system that has a fixed volume in contact with a heat reservoir. The equilibrium condition uh, we can check by using the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics says uh, delta S star, the total entropy change must be positive. That means the entropy of the uh, total system must be maximized. I checked the entropy of the prime system, which is the heat reservoir, which is Q prime over T prime, heat absorbed by the prime system divided by its constant temperature. And Q prime is equal to delta E prime minus W prime, first law of thermodynamics. And W prime is zero because delta V is zero. Uh, D bar W prime would be equal to minus P bar DV prime, uh, but uh, DV prime is zero. Um, delta V is equal to zero, and delta V prime is equal to zero here. So we have a constant volume. So Q prime is equal to delta E prime, but delta E prime is minus delta E because the total energy is constant. Uh, this is because it's isolated. Uh, star system is isolated. And then we can write delta S star as delta S plus delta S prime, which is Q prime over T prime. Q prime is minus delta E bar, so minus delta E bar over T prime. And we can see that uh, for a system that has a constant volume, uh, delta E bar minus T prime delta S is the change in the Helmholtz free energy, which is defined as E bar minus uh, T prime S, because we have a constant temperature, uh, the, there is no delta T prime. So it's minus delta F over T prime. So the total entropy getting maximized implies delta F should be less or equal to zero, so F is minimized at equilibrium. 
And from the definition of Gibbs free energy and Helmholtz free energy, we see that Gibbs free energy, which is a minimum for a system at constant pressure and constant temperature, uh, is Helmholtz free energy plus P prime V. And uh, in this e, e bar minus T prime S plus P prime V, if you get rid of the T prime S part, you have enthalpy E bar plus P prime V. That is equal to the change in uh, uh, that is basically the heat absorbed by a system at constant pressure. So uh, you can see that from the first law of thermodynamics, Q is equal to minus P prime um, delta V, P bar delta V. So this would be Q is equal to uh, P, P bar uh, delta E bar plus P bar delta V, which is uh, the change in the enthalpy. So we have uh, delta V here. The, the volume is allowed to change at constant pressure.